Schools are considering banning chocolate milk. It's part of a new bill proposed by Florida Governor Ron DeSantis to eliminate diversity and only allow white milk in schools. Chocolate milk is woke. (laughs) In reality, the United States Department of Agriculture is considering changing the standards for all school meals, which could include banning chocolate milk to lower student sugar intake. I prefer to get my calcium from milk duds. The majority of students prefer either chocolate or strawberry milk over the plain nasty white stuff, so they will not be getting those dairy nutrients if flavored milk is banned. Got milk? No, I don't. (laughs) Some of the school lunch changes would include limiting added sugars, increasing whole grains, and reducing sodium. Shouldn't we be thinking of ways to make students less angry? The USDA created a website to allow the public to submit feedback, and they received over 90,000 comments. I read a few of them, for real, and it seemed to be a bunch of lunch ladies complaining that kids are ready to throw out a bunch of food, and changing the menu to be broccoli with a hummus dip will only lead to even more waste of food. A few of the lunch ladies also said that they're sick of wearing hairnets because they cramp their style. Ow. I have a cramp in my shoulder. Ow, seriously. (laughs) One lunch lady commented, I'm completely opposed to serving cardboard as a meal. Guy Fieri isn't. As an alternative way to allow students to drink milk with less added sugars, some lactating lunch ladies have agreed to let students and some gym teachers drink straight from their tap. Oh my God, I'm such a liar. The USDA will issue its final ruling in time for the 2024 to 2025 school year. It seems like 90% of my TikTok followers are teenage girls. So who cares what the adults think? What are your thoughts? Miami police are on the lookout for a hoochie mama who stole over $600,000 worth of Rolex watches and jewelry from a man she met at a bar. After the victim told the police that he woke up and found his safe was open, and missing gold chains, gold bracelets, Cartier sunglasses, and a rose gold diamond ring. They arrested him for being a huge guido. This guy is an idiot, first of all, for spending $600,000 on a watch when he can look at his cell phone to see what time it is, which according to the story would have been around 5.30 when he invited the Julia Roberts wannabe back to his condo. She's going to be starring in a movie sequel called Pretty Skanky Woman, The skank met the Guido at a Miami bar called the Dirty Rabbit. She looks like she works the pole at a strip club called the Dirty Beaver. If my parents ever found these videos where I say these horrible jokes, my mom would constantly be going, (gasps) Police said they believe the woman is in her mid-30s, but did not specify if they meant her age or her bra size. She should have stolen a sweater to cover up those overinflated fun bags. The woman is caught on video leaving the condo holding two blue solo cups in one hand and two D cups in one chest. Miami police asked the public to call 911 if they see Amy Winehouse in a bikini. Legendary prisoner Martha Stewart won a SAG award, but unfortunately for her, it was for her breasts instead of a Screen Actors Guild award. The 81-year-old is the oldest woman ever to be on the cover of the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Issue. Martha reenacted a pose that she learned in prison to protect her lady junk from other prisoners who had been convicted of stealing lumber from Home Depot. Bitch stole my pose. Why you laying like that, bro? Anyway, she also stole my floor mat from my foyer and repurposed it as a hat. She is pretty crafty. This is a close up of her feet if any of you freaks are into that kind of thing. That's why I keep my feet at the end of the bed where you can't see them. All jokes aside, I think she looks really good and women in their 80s and men in their 80s should not be afraid to wear bathing suits in public. Just do your thing, live life, whatever you have left. Just don't go swimming in Egypt where sharks eat tourists. Sports Illustrated released covers with three other models for horny men who are not turned on by liver spots and varicose veins. If you're into women who do not have osteoporosis, Here is Megan Fox after the photographer's assistant, I guess, sprayed her with silly string. You know, some dolphin ended up choking on that crap. (laughs) 
Singer Kim Petrus was the first trans person featured on the cover. I'm transitioning into another story before I say something that gets me canceled. The Pope, or as some people call him, the Pope, recently had surgery to repair a hernia in his stomach, which he probably got by carrying the weight of the world on his shoulders. He'll be back at church in no time, singing off key and listening to criminal activity and confessions and trying to prevent people from kissing his ring. Several countries are forcing manufacturers to warn consumers about the dangers of alcohol and cigarettes. Ireland is going to start requiring bars to have signs about the dangers of alcohol and also require labels on every bottle of alcohol, warning about the risk of cancer, liver disease, and also the risk of drinking while pregnant. What about the risk of getting drunk and getting pregnant? Some countries complain that they have to update their labels just to export alcohol to Ireland. Italy's label is going to say, you would drink the wine, you would die. Yeah, I need to work on my accents and my humor. Similarly, Canada will start requiring every cigarette to contain health warnings, such as cigarettes damage your organs, cigarettes cause impotence, and poison in every puff. They need to add one that says, your breath stinks. Every condom should have the saying, wearing this will save you over $200,000 raising a kid. But I guess you'd have to stretch it out to be able to read it. (laughs) Next, 83-year-old Al Pacino and 79-year-old Robert De Niro both recently became fathers again. I guess their linguine can still get al dente if you know what I'm saying. Although, usually I don't even know what I'm saying. De Niro now has seven kids from four different mothers which he said is going to help him prepare for his next and most challenging acting role, starring as the lead in the Nick Cannon story. Sounds like he could star in a movie called Raging Bull Balls. (laughs) New York City unveiled vending machines for drug users that include free crack pipes, fentanyl test strips, lip balm, and Narcan for reversing overdoses. They forgot a free bag of Cheetos. A government official said... We have a rising tide of fentanyl, and now we have other substances entering our drug supply, which is really putting us behind the eight ball. Eight ball of cocaine? Probably not the best choice of words at a press conference. Trust me, I'm an expert at using the wrong choice of words in every situation. All items are free and only require users to enter a zip code, like someone on drugs is going to remember the zip code their cardboard box is in. The machines were installed in hopes of decreasing the total amount of overdose deaths in New York City, which topped 2,600 in 2021. I don't have a joke for that because I don't think that's funny. Each of the four machines in the pilot program include information with helpful resources and costs $11,000 each, which some opponents argue would be better spent on rehab services or paying for their daughter's quinceanera. Within the first day, all of the items had already been taken with some crackheads complaining that the free crack pipes were too thin for their standards. I don't know. So if you want to risk your life trying to find this machine, good luck. A 63-year-old woman in Argentina took a driving test, but she should have gotten a test on her brain instead. Just to be clear, she was supposed to show that she could drive properly. Instead, she drove over a few curbs and then floored it over another curb and broke a light pole in half as her car went on its side. After she got released from the hospital, she got her photo taken but it was not for her driver license. It was for her mugshot because she got charged with driving while being a dumbass. 